You have to talk louder. You can't hear me? I can, but you have to talk louder. Um, um, I told Dallas at the beginning of this live, I was going to say uh, three things. One, this will be a summary explanation, um, a whole explanation in detail. One, I feel like you guys don't really des not deserve, um, need to know, because that's personal information, personal life, and me and Dallas have had personal conversations, but I'm also one in my head know that I let a lot of supporters down. So a detailed explanation will be put on, on my YouTube when I am with Dallas physically. Um, two, the only time, only time besides the YouTube video that I will address any of it again because me and Dallas have had our own <coughs> personal conversations. It is our relationship, our lives, all that. So as long as we have had our conversations, I feel like that should be respected. Um, back to the beginning. I have admitted and owned up to all my wrongdoings. All of you that are coming at me saying that I haven't or I need to or this and this, I have multiple times. Even in the moment, I did. Um, the internet, yeah, got to, to the point where I had to shut everything <gasps> off. Are you where did I go? You're at the top of the screen. Where I can't see myself. Can you see me? Yeah, and you're still on it. I can't see myself. Okay, good. Sorry. Go ahead. No. Okay, go ahead. Um, mental illness issues, all that I feel is very personal information. Um, and some of it has been leaked, and I don't know how. Also should say Dallas, Mavua, Courtney, Dev, like the ones that have maybe posted about are the only ones that I've spoke to since I've been there. So if other said girl has posted anything about me saying anything or what's wrong with me or none of that, we have not spoken at all since before all this happened. So if anything's coming from her, shouldn't believe it. Um, but speaking of things that came from her, um, yes, she knew. No, didn't say I was in love with her. Yes, say. No, this didn't come from her, but from a different account. No, Dallas is not physically or emotionally abusive. Um, everyone and their mom knows that we play fight or real fights, this, so what, is she gonna square up, but, like, I'm not, topic, I feel as though, like, a personal friend, who I thought that was friends with us at the time, had the nerve to speak on that, knowing that their relationship isn't perfect, and they had the nerve to talk on ours, in, like, a very false it way, it like, it came out of my mouth, too, yeah. like, was so out about it, even confused me when Dallas told me, no um if it was like that we wouldn't post us swinging at each other it would it'd be a very serious this is something that was highly out of pocket and i felt like they just wanted something on there because obviously alexis and i were highly highly trending like the whole entire thing was like anybody anybody and everybody and i said this and you know what people were taking advantage of the time all they could nothing at all was on my for you page unless it had my name or dallas's name on it 
a bunch of mutuals, a bunch of people that I thought were friends, a bunch of people that were in my phone checking on me, but also talking shit about me because they thought I took down TikTok. Um, we're on the For You page because you would not get noticed or none of that and it, unless it had our name on it. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit, but it's true. And everyone knows it's true. Like, everyone has some shit to say. That topic, too. All the people that were in my phone checking on me but wanted to talk shit. Um, I saw it. All the people that didn't post anything but were commenting talking shit saw those, too. I drilled myself. That's another thing. You guys thought that I was over here just, like, bagging bitches and snagging snitches? No. I drilled the fuck out of myself. I had people calling me. My number got leaked. Don't know how that happened. But I let it happen. Didn't change my number. Answered every single FaceTime call and text message that was drilling me. I answer people calling me, telling me this, this, and this to die, all these threats. I answer to it and I listen to it because I, at the moment and still, thought I deserved it. Don't think that I was just taking that shit like, man, fuck, and like threw it all. No. Um, another topic was me. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to say. I'm. I'm not gonna bring. I'm not gonna just bring that it. personal shit to. Just say. Just say it. Because you're gonna have to say everything. Any but. Any. Um. Going down there, first time. Went to fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Flipped. And this is the part that I feel was too personal to be put on there. It's mental issues, and it, there's things that I will go into detail in. Um, in the video and medications that I will let you guys know of that I'm taking in this, this, and this. Because you guys feel the need to be that personal in my life. But, um, yeah, flipped in the middle, sat up. I thought you were talking about, like, <laughs> you don't want to say it, do you? <laughs> I do, but, like. Just do it. Just do it. There's nothing that you can hold back. The, the girl stinks. Her the coochie stinks. I flipped, sat up, smelled. She she said I had to use the bathroom. What did you say about her that she hasn't said about I mean, you? Yeah, she did say she wants me to die. But like, went to use the bathroom. She was like, "Hurry back, we have unfinished business." I texted Courtney, who was dealing with her best friend at the time. I'm not saying any more names, but told her come back inside. Don't can't. And she, as soon as she saw it, did come back inside. Um, second time going down there, didn't try again. Men Anyways, all of that, um, in the sense of the live and everything that happened afterwards, the not being able to speak and all that, if, and yeah, it's shit that it's happened twice, but if you saw the last time that happened to me, it's the same shit. I have anxiety being attacked and being attacked then publicly yeah it's gonna make a person go like brain fart fucking to the max but i still had answers and then we had our own personal conversations afterwards and i had answers personally that's another thing a lot of things were said on there that i didn't personally feel the need to be let out um but then me and dallas had personal conversations which is another thing um, people drilling Dallas for talking to me afterwards. Um, drilling her for talking to me afterwards. I feel like you guys, no offense, have no heart. Um, when you're in love with somebody, even if they hurt you, I know personally, um, when they're at their lowest, yeah, you're going to worry about them and check on them. Um, but her being mad before that and everything she said before that, liked before that, all of that is, that's not anything for y'all to run with. Like, the, the what's, what the fuck? The, veggie tales. Okay, first of all, I was called that in middle school. Nothing new. I laughed at that. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh my god, that was brought up again. Good one. The nigga's green, so I don't know how that correlates with being racist. 
Unless they were talking know. about because they said I was making microaggressions because it was it's black features and I was laughing at black features. Y'all ain't never seen a white person with an afro. Y'all ain't never seen a white person honestly with see and that's another thing. Black features. That comment right there saying people have black features is kind of a racist comment. Um for you guys to then call someone racist for. Um but yeah, no, Dallas is probably the last person to be racist. Now she's not over here like fighting protests and stuff, but she speaks her word on it. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that she's like like I feel like you guys will root for one side if you saw her like whenever we were wearing our Black Lives Matter shirts and everyone was like oh her and then they're like oh she liked this comment race like you guys are so flippy floppy with your fucking I don't even know what you want to call it like opinions or whatever the fuck which is another thing once you guys found out that I was in a mental hospital, like mentally ill, then you guys started feeling bad for me. I don't know. I don't do the pity. I don't do the feel bad. The, if you want to genuinely check on me, I, people that were texting me, ask anybody. If one of your friends ended up with my number, ask them. When they texted me, checked on me, I said, I did it to myself. Don't got to worry about me. I, I'm, I'm going to deal with it. I was being hella blamed for the reason why you're in there. Yes. Obviously, the stress and all of this, like, pertain to it, but the fact that you guys were sitting here and being like, oh, you're the reason why she's in there, but a couple of days ago, you were like, oh, fuck that bitch, yeah, you deserve better, and it's just like, you guys kept switching up on everything. I was mad because I was the one who got cheated on. I had every right to be upset. I don't know why fucking... The Maddie bitch was fucking so sad about it because there's no reason she should be sad. And I'm going to say this on live with Alexis sitting here. She has no reason to be as upset as she was and go fucking cry on live and be like this. She made this whole scenario out in her head. Oh, I'm not going to tell Dallas because I'm going to end up with Alexis. I'm oh, that's Alexis. another thing. She told me not to tell Dallas. There was a point where I was going literally insane in my head. At the start of my manic episode, that was at the start of my manic episode. Um, and I was like, I have to tell her. I'm going to tell her. I have to. I have to. And she was like, no, are you crazy? You're going to ruin everything for the both of us. This, this, and this. I have that. On I, I have that screenshot. I am the type of person also to put everyone before me and their feelings. So to me, it was, I'm telling Dallas, so I don't feel insane. But if I tell Dallas, yeah, I'm going to ruin shit for her. I knew it was going to ruin shit for me regardless. So. That shit didn't matter to me, but her. And I was like, fuck, like, I, that'd be shitty. But then I was like, no, I'm going to. But she, then, then she takes it upon herself to tell Dallas for, I don't know what reason, I don't fucking know, but I still planned on telling Dallas was on my way to hit Arizona, her had a claim, family emergency. Her claim on why she didn't tell me was because she was hurt. And that she had to take time. Because she's the one that said she was in love with me. Again, I did not say that. She said And that. I feel, I just feel as though, like, she made this whole scenario up in her head. Maddie, I know you're watching this. You're a fucking weird-ass bitch. And I put that on she's my fucking life. Me. No, because it, it doesn't matter. She could probably watch it on some other account. Mm -hmm. You're weird as fuck, one. Because what's crazy to me is that I was friends with you way before you even spoke to Alexis. And that's what blows me is that we were friends and you took it upon yourself. Oh, by the way, according to many other people and you quote unquote friends have told me that you've home wrecked many other relationships. So maybe you guys all who are friends with her and want to be with her, maybe you should keep that in fucking mind. So I just feel as though like she has this set plan in her head that she's the baddest bitch and she can take anybody, blah, blah, blah. Not when you have a fucking stank ass coochie. You ain't going to get far anywhere i'm sorry and it's just i'm so tired at this point like i've kept it a secret like um i speak to alexis every single day every Multiple single day. day maybe like five times a day the people at the hospital hated me because i would not stop calling she would call me every three seconds it was just like the fact that people sat here and thought that i deep down hated her like i didn't i said i hated her because i hate what she did to me I hate I mean, I the pain that I too. endured. It's all, it was all put out there like that, yes. But you guys got to think in terms of, like, we are actual human beings with actual feelings. Like, 
again, I will say it again. We are actual human beings. Human. It's like you guys are so... You guys idolize us like like we're gods or something. Like, I, and, and you I, get so invested. There, yeah, while I was in there, they were there was this one um, thing we did on... Um, I don't know, self-love or something like this. And I was like, you're supposed to have that naturally anyways. And then they started talking about idolization and this, this, and this. And then they pointed out, you have all these followers. People are going to idolize you and your relationship. And that's why they're so invested. You guys take this as your relationship. And it's not. We are personal people, human beings. Uh. I just, mm, like, this whole situation for me, I feel like it blew up in so many, like, wrong directions. I, as I will keep saying, I think I was the only person who was allowed to be hurt. Besides Alexis, obviously, because, yes, I admit, everyone dragged her because of me. And I'm not going to apologize for that. I was hurt. I felt as though she deserved to get all the shit she did. And that was just my opinion. And I'm not going to take that back. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because no, I meant it. And what I said, besides the fact that I said I hated her and like all this stuff. And I just feel as though like Maddie did all of this for attention. And I'm, and it's, that's just that simple. She did it all for attention. She gained over like fucking 90,000 followers. It was fucking ridiculous. She still posts to this day about the situation. And it's just like fucking move on go go somewhere now people are people are uh taking her side talking about some oh well alexis did this to callie oh fucking well bitch oh well See, that's you another don't... thing everyone's speaking on the kelly situation like one this like that many people even knew me at the time nobody I'm i was like say, a third of how you I was. don't even know and yeah that was a whole time we weren't on we weren't on social media at playlists no. because we were so distracted with meeting everybody and all our friends and stuff we made a few tiktoks and posted them literally like later that night when we were hanging out or something so there's no way that anyone unless you were there her mahua jordan there was only courtney like a few was of there us. courtney was there no, but there was only a few of us that were around us all the time so it was yeah. like Han hannah courtney yes jordan jj yes mahua wasn't even around us all the time but she was there most of the time like if you were there around us less than Mahua, then you didn't know shit, actually. No, and I just felt as though that was something that people are just, like, pulling out because I hit a million and the people are dragging me. Like, and I'm not Kelly understanding. And fucking even reached out to me in this part. If you guys want to drag that so hard, she did reach out and talk to me in this, that, and the other. So I don't know why. She doesn't even know why she's being brought into it. No, but what's funny is that's a lie because she posted all about it. So I don't want to hear that because she posted all about it and was like, I don't well, want to hear y'all talking to me now. Yeah, someone told me that and I was like, I obviously I don't know anything. I haven't <coughs> had a phone or anything for a week. No connection to anything. But my The only reason Alexis knows all this stuff is because Dallas I called her and told her everything. Uh, yeah. Well, mostly Dallas and I called um, Justice a lot, but I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's it's a lot of, like, and to bring up that, it's like a year and a half, and a year and a half ago, proves that you guys hear anything and everything and run, run with it, run, sprint, like, faster than the fucking Roadrunner, faster than my metabolism with that shit, like. I just, I feel as though, like, the dragging at this point just needs to stop like it's ridiculous you guys are bored you guys are i bored. feel like if you guys now know that me and dallas have had our own personal conversations personally about our personal issue that we got on right now personally then it shouldn't mean anything to you guys I know, I know our relationship. Everyone was like, well, you guys, you guys pr uh, projected your relationship so much. This, this, and this. Yeah, because we both had a following that liked to see us together. And again, that's where I put that. I let a lot of you guys down and I am deeply, deeply, deeply sorry. But <coughs> it's also not your <coughs> relationship life. Because like, if we didn't have a platform, this would have been a three-way, maybe four-way with some of our friends like facetime call 
of her being mad and like this this and this like it wouldn't have been this fucking big if we didn't have the platform that we do yeah and i and it's funny to me that now all of a sudden like all this happened and alexa said this before like half of our mutuals were like hella talking shit on both of us and it's just like so funny to me because you guys would text me personally being like dallas i'm so sorry and then you would go defend alexis in people's comments like that just doesn't make sense like how are you gonna make a whole post talking shit on alexis and then go defend her in somebody else's comments like that just doesn't make sense to me and it shows that a lot of you want it for attention like if well, your page all, again, is dead post something else that's all it was if our names was if our names weren't in the video itself or the caption or one of our faces in it or a stitch or a duet or none of that then it wasn't going to end up on the for you page nobody was getting no attention this is and something what's really petty is that you guys are going all the way back to our old videos and commenting on it and being like well this aged well that's yeah that right there um or people are like going back all the way to mine and just like <laughs> unliking and reliking so i have to like go look at it again or like commenting under my comments on her videos and stuff i tried to end that shit turning my comments off and you guys like go the extra mile which is another thing the extra fucking mile i took my instagram down my facebook down my twitter down and you guys want to cash at me and paypal me death threats creative as fuck <laughs> oh that God. one really i got the first one and i was like holy shit a cash app telling me to die good one and I felt as though, like, Maddie was claiming that she was so in love with you, and then she texts you and tells you to die. Rot. She told me to rot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rot, period. Because that I, bitch I wants to talk hella like, shit on me. Will do. In my... And I just want to let you know, Maddie, because I know you're in here. Your close friends that still comment on all your stuff are the people who <laughs> fucking told me what you did. What'd you just say? I didn't really hear you. Can you, like, cough one more time? <laughs> <clears throat> I still don't know what you said. You're going to have to tell me after because I feel a little deaf. Nah, I don't know. And she'll know because I'm pretty sure she in here. She has to be in here. No, the person I was talking about in my little... <clears throat> um, like, was in TikTok I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it was... So it many was people that we of... haven't talked to in forever are in here, look. You know who it is? Mm-hmm. I don't even ha I can't even see half mine. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to do that. I just at this point, like, if you guys see us like anywhere together or like post together, because Alexis will eventually post, but comments are still gonna be off. Because regardless I'm, of what happens. See, that's another thing. I don't know. Posting on Instagram has to stay up. I'm trying to be a model. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, if you still wanna hate on me. I still need to make a life out of myself. Um, TikToks will probably be mostly um, for jobs because I don't feel safe on that platform. No, no, no. You're fine. You're okay. Take your time. I don't feel safe on that platform. So, it'll probably be a couple months for that one. But Instagram will probably go back up. Yeah, I just want you guys to understand that we do keep a lot off social media more than you guys probably think. We give you what you want to see. And it's just like, yes, the reason why Alexis was in such a hard spot is because we always argued. Like, when I was in North Carolina, we had a bunch of arguments about personal things. Like, we were going through it. Like, we were. We were having a hard time. And it was like, we were constantly arguing because I had an issue with everything. Because she was just acting so weird to me. And I was like, what the fuck? But that's something that she'll have to address if she feels comfortable eventually. And... I just, I, I do. It's something that Dallas has, like, noticed for a while and has said that I have needed help for for a while, not even <clears throat> just while we've been together, like, while she was back being my best friend, even, like, it, it, it's not nothing new, but it, it was something that I was 
denying to myself until it came to like literally almost life ending situation and I was like okay it I need I actually need to go somewhere um and it was low-key like based off my doctor and the police but it's not like don't think that a lot of people think that I just like brought this up because all this like Dallas and I and a few others have noticed for a little bit <laughs> while well, I was telling them Mahua kind of met me while I was in all like she didn't know you what you knew like gang and them knew a whole different and it just yeah, I just feel like you guys want to get, like, the complete answer, but you're not going to get that until Alexis feels comfortable talking about the real reason why she was in, I call it the loony bin. Sorry, if that offends some of you, I call it the loony bin. I was in a psych ward, an actual psych ward. And she won't, she won't explain that until she feels comfortable because it's something really heavy that a lot of people can't come to um, acceptance with. And a lot of people will be like, oh, well, that's an excuse. But it's like a real life threatening thing. Like, it's hard to comprehend for me still because I just because Alexis has to tell me the full story to my face anyway. Like, I told her and I was like, I, I don't trust you still. Like, I trust you on some things, but like on like complete like trust, I need to get like the full story and like complete detail of what happened because I still don't feel like secure and like all of this stuff like because a lot of you have asked me are you guys gonna get back together one that is my decision and my decision only and I just feel as though if we ever did get back together it would not be for a while like maybe like months on end because one I have to be completely stable like because if anything else happened I would have to be ready to take it in and two, Alexis needs enough time for herself to get together, even though she's all, all like, well, Dallas, you need to be okay. D no, like, I need to make sure that she's okay and that she's stable and that she has her shit together. But at the same time, like, I'm moving out of my house, so I have to get my house together. Wherever I'm moving, I'm going to college. Like, I have volleyball. Like, stop zoning out. I'm Don't listening. do that. Don't do that. Do not stop that. Hey. Um, um, also, but... it, that situation, if it did happen, probably would not be publicized again. You guys no. will Absolutely. not and probably will never know. You will know oh. in, uh, on <clears throat> the market um, by myself until I'm not. But the only thing you guys will probably know then is that we are with someone. Nothing will be on the internet. Like, it just, it ruins a lot. Like it takes, it makes a lot of things way harder. Um, I just, and yes, I was like, I need sneaky links. I never went to them. Never went to them. Yeah, I flirted with like 30 million people because it was my distraction. Some of you were sexy, but I just don't think I could do it because you guys think that i just fell out of love like i just can't do that and if you guys can fucking give me your fucking tips because that shit is not easy fuck because i don't know what y'all be doing if you can fall out of love that fast like maddie you fell in love with alexis what happened what happened huh what happened oh that just that just went away because you didn't want to talk about it anymore because you want to talk a little shit on me you can get these fucking hands suck my fucking dick bitch I really, oh, I had to let that out. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. it really blew me. When what went? She said Dude. She was cold Dallas. Oh, yeah, bitch just turned 17, too, so I got to wait a whole year. Damn. Um, But, yeah, other than what will be posted on my YouTube, I nothing else will be explained. And also, I don't need questions asking me to speak in detail of things that you guys feel one like wasn't explained enough or like don't make sense of that. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to you. It's my personal life. Shit will be shared as as much as I feel is needed. Everything's like I said, personal conversations for personal reasons. 
But, um, other than that, no. So, I what? I am live on Instagram with Alexis right now. Yeah, you might want to walk out for a second. I'll come talk to you in a split second. No, I'm going to bed. I told you I'm going to say to be quiet. Okay. Okay, good night. Look at her. Your camera's oh, wow. dirty. No, this is okay. But I just, from like this point on, I feel as though one, if I get any more comments, like I have my comments filtered. So, like, half of you calling me racist in my comments or Alexis's name or anything, it doesn't pop up. So, half of you look so embarrassing trying to comment on my things. I don't know. Actually, I don't have your name. I lied. I was going to, I'm going to put her name so that if you guys ever try to comment anything about it, it's not going to come through. So, I wouldn't even waste your time on trying to say something because one, some of it still makes me sick to my stomach. Every time I open TikTok, I get nauseous because I just know that something is going to be on there that says something about the situation, and I hate being reminded. I hate being reminded the hurt that I went through. I hate being reminded how much I didn't sleep, how much I cried, how much I this, 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 and how just, like, the pain that I physically went through. I hate being reminded because that was something that really just tore me into pieces. I scream cried when I found it and I haven't scream cried like that one since Alexis left the last time and when my grandpa died. So like I endured a lot of pain inside my body that I just feel as though you guys just keep mentioning over and over again because you're so curious and I'm just tired of hearing it to be honest because me and Alexis are fine. We're best friends that's just us and like we have our little group of friends that we speak to because those are the only people we trust only people we trust and i uh, yeah a lot of you like check in on us how you doing dallas i'm fine but i'm not going to go into detail of why i'm hurting or anything else because it just feels like a lot of you are snitches and a lot of you aren't the fake alexis what? what are you zoned out no Okay. A lot of you are just fake as fuck. So my my close circle for me, Alexis, Dev, Sam, Callista, and Mahua. That is it. I'd love to say. Yes, I've spilled a lot of it to some of you because I just feel so like if I didn't, you guys wouldn't leave me alone. And that's like with mutuals I talk to like on a daily basis sometimes. And I just... And a lot of you, like, the day of, like, called me. Like, why would you call me? I'm going to sit here and bawl my eyes out on the phone and tell you absolutely everything I know. Like, why would you take advantage of my sadness so you could just know all this stuff and be, like, have so much knowledge about it? Like, if you get what I'm trying to say. I just felt like a lot of people took advantage of the way that I felt and so that you can get the information. And I told a lot of people. I did. But I also told people that would have my back. And defend me at the same time because I know that they would but then you guys go and switch up like one of the people who told me about Maddie was just in her comments today so that's what fucking blows me does am I gonna tell her that you snitched on her or what stop trying to act friendly and you know exactly what I'm talking about Alexis you called it too I don't want to say it out loud but you said that she's in love with her uh, yeah so yeah. And it's yeah. like I don't know. I just feel like you guys just need to shut the fuck up. This is probably not the closure you want, but there will be a YouTube video posted in maybe like two to three weeks or a week and a half, two weeks. I don't know. It all depends because one, I'm graduating and Alexis and Mahua are probably not going to be focusing on making a YouTube video. So different YouTube video, not that one. Yeah. Like we're, we have a lot of stuff to do when Alexis comes here. So it's just like, that's not going to be something prioritized. So if you're really invested, you're going to have to be patient because I have prom, I have graduation, I have a graduation party. I have stuff to do for college. Like I have a lot to do. And if I'm going to be in the video, you guys have to be patient because I have things to do in my life. And I don't feel like that's a priority for me. Maybe it might be for Alexis, but I don't feel as though it's a priority for me to make a YouTube video just for your entertainment. Because I know a lot of you are going to like post this Instagram live because Instagram lives are all over YouTube and a lot of things are going to be split. They're going to be cropped. They're going to be cut. So it's acting like we said something that we didn't. Good one. Thank and you. I just, 
I just want to say that I love Alexis a lot with all my heart, and I just and I just want her to be okay. That is all I care about. No matter what I said, how I treated her, how all this went, I care about her and I love her regardless of what happened. Yes, I still have her inside my heart because I didn't think that someone who was in love with me could do that to me or is in love with me could do that to me. But, I mean, things happen and you guys will get that explanation eventually. Mm. Which is another thing a lot of people check. Text me and tell me that. Like, who that wants to say something? Also, all you motherfuckers, the fact that they're taking time out of their day to make a video to explain themselves to you, you guys don't fucking deserve that. Especially half of the shit I saw on my For You page. You don't deserve it. And the fact that they're going to take their time out of their day, AP doesn't need to even come back on social media, but she needs a job and she wants to make a job for herself. And all you fake ass motherfuckers, and I know who you are, switching up and saying all this shit, and all you dumbass mutuals who want to switch up now. I hope you got your views but at the same time they don't owe you shit this is their issue and the fact that they want to take time out of their day to post a video to explain everything you're fucking welcome from them like the fuck they don't owe you shit so be fucking nice that's all and honestly to me like yeah it's a job and right now i'm going back i'll only be back on it as a job for promos and all that stuff but it was a lot more and that was really that was really, really my safe place for at that minute. And, like, the captions of my lives and shit would be like, you guys make everything better and shit like that. And, like, the video that I posted just on how bad my mental health was actually getting. And then after all this, people were going back and being like, well, no wonder. And I, I, I get it now. And it's because you were keeping this secret and this, this, and this that took a big ass toll on me and it took a big chunk out of me but that is not why <laughs> and you guys again don't know my life personally enough to comment on that i know dallas commented on it and said that and like so you guys again <laughs> hear something and run with it but it, it wasn't it i my mental health has been deteriorating for probably about two years now Again, like I said, Dallas has literally yeah. been witnessing the whole thing. I'm drink it. Um, but, yeah, that was a safe place, and now it has turned into a place where I feel really unsafe. Um, and, like, I know so I know crazy. a lot of you are, like, still here for me in this incident. I, I love the hell out of all of my supporters and stuff, but it's just... Yeah, now to a point where I don't know if I want to get back on social media. Do you know what people are going to do to this live? And I can already expect it. I'm sitting here laughing and people are like, going to be like, oh, Alexis is pouring her heart out and Dallas is just sitting here laughing. Can't you make humor out of your fucking drama? See, the thing is, is what blew me about you guys calling me racist. I make fun of Alexis all the time. And it's just like, I people are like, Oh, you're you're doing all this. You guys don't make fun of your best friends? And they're like, well, no, when it's racist comments. I didn't know that me making fun of the way that her hair was or whoever said something about her hair and I laughed at it was racist. But no, um, I'm, I'm supposed to be highly educated on everything about people of color, but I'm not. And I... And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to apologize for not being highly educated, but that's just I'm not literally raised thing. by white people. I'm half white. And you guys said something about white privilege and the way she grew up doesn't mean she doesn't have white privilege. Privilege. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that. I take white privilege as like tennis playing white boy who has daddy's <laughs> money, has him a nice car, and takes his girlfriend on dates with his hundred dollar bills because he can't. Like white privilege, you know, like, I like getting what you're to the saying. good schools because they're smart and shit. Like, I like what you're saying like, like he took her he, I'm just take, I'm boys. just thinking of it in the sense of like daddy's money type white privilege people like and you guys are like it doesn't matter on where you grew up like you have white privilege just because this is okay I understand that too but you guys were taking it to a very like far deep extent that I wasn't even aware of and I live in the whitest town of North Carolina raised by the okay. palest white person you've probably seen my mom is Irish I'm Irish Polish I'm not Polish. 
Where's this conversation going? Cold. Because uh, every time I wonder she calls what would her happen. dad asking what the hell she is, I, I wonder what it's going to say if I turn the comments on. Um, I'm probably going to leave if you do that. Cause I, I just, I just want to see what it says for a split second. I, you can't, it won't say anything because. Yes, it will. They're still able to comment with the comments off. Not Are on mine. Easy. No, you can't see it. But if I turn them I back know, on. but like if I, see if I can comment. No. Oh, you can't. Never mind. I want to say that I love Alexis, and I can't wait to see her, even though I'm really fucking nervous because I might faint and throw up everywhere when I wake up from passing out. But it's also at the same time, like, you guys have to realize I was in a deep-ass relationship. Like, our relationship was perfect. I don't even give a fuck what anybody it says. It was literally, and that's we what never to argued. everyone. It was perfect until it wasn't, like... We, yeah, we never argued, we bicker, but, like, got over it in, like, 20 minutes. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing big anytime. If I got upset, people saw me crying or something over this girl. It was either because it was happy tears or it was because I felt like I was doing something to where I wasn't good enough for her. And in the, my point, I'm not. But, yeah, no. We had like a perfect, and then in the sun, and then another thing is like they told me at the, at the place I was at, it was just two two kids in, in love that didn't know how to love because they weren't loved right, and I was like that that makes a lot of sense, um, a lot of sense, but yeah we we had a relationship and it was deeper than. Look what this bitch just put on her feet. Oh shit! She just threw my shoes on. They fits. Um, me and I'm ass. taking it. Why um, do you correct me when I get your pronouns wrong before I slap you in your fucking face? Do you see my bio? It says she, he, they. I don't really give a fuck. Okay, so this is the last live. I'm gonna talk about it. You guys are gonna ask me if Alexis is okay. I'm gonna say yes. I'm never gonna tell you no because that's none of your business if she's okay or not. So if you ask me if she's okay, I'm going to say, yeah, she's great. She's living lavish. Bougie. I love you. But see, that's what people think anyways, that I'm over here just living it up. Because I just expect it to all be done and shit now. I love you. I love you too, honey. The answer is, um, it's none of your <laughs> business question. It's, a, it's none of your business question. Until I make it your business. Well... This is probably not the live you guys wanted to receive, but Alexis said what she wanted to say in a little summarization. Damn, that was good. Um, so, y'all can all suck my left nut because the right one is special. And all the mutuals that we're trying to, again, check on me and then also trying to slide. Not even just the talking shit. The checking on me and then trying to slide. I'll call the ass out again. Okay. And for all of you who probably, this girl, let me tell you this. This girl, I don't even know who this bitch was, made the TikTok talking about some um, AP, I still want you. I drilled the fuck out of her in her comments. Yeah, the people that are, ta some of, people that were taking my number being leaked as an opportunity to slide in my phone, I deleted all of your messages on site. Only person on about site. E the DMs, the girl, you can cheat on me, deleted. Half of them blocked. S sick. I don't... Eat, and eat. again, like I said, I don't want no nobody. Nobody. Who do you want? Girl, the fuck? Those mostly. I'm only allowed to... Don't say my people. government like that ever again, Alexis Painter. Dallas... Maybe you guys know how many times I had to spell Lexus's last name when I called this fucking hospital because they didn't know what the fuck Painter was? Oh my god! For the longest time, I thought I had two R's at the end, not gonna lie. <laughs> A lot of people do. They'll send me, like, um, I had two promos that sent me money as Lexus Painter with two R's. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. <gasps> From now on, our personal life is from now none of your business. From now on. All the extra videos and shit uncalled for and unnecessary because we are good.
Yes, we are fine. We are fine. Mwah. Kisses. We're fine. Um, so, Alexis is going to get off of this and yeah. go watch my stream because I'm going to have Mahua play a scary game. No. And no. you just subscribed to me. She, you know that gave me some money, girl? I know. My sister just texted me and says she's so happy that you're out. Thanks, Corinne. So, everybody. I'm hoping to be, if you're watching this, I'm hoping to see you soon, too. Who? Your sister. You will see her soon. And I know. If, I, that's what I said. I said, my, if you're watching this, thank you. I hope you You need soon. to make some money because I have. you need to come with me to Idaho. I have, and I know. I. There's things that I need to call you about when we get off of here in a second. Okay, well, we'll get off right now. All of you, come to my Twitch stream in about 10 minutes. I'm going to play scary games in Among Us and get imposter and get caught every single time because I'm so bad in Among Us on mouse and keyboard. Okay. <laughs> um, again, sorry to let y'all down. Um, I know y'all probably still don't want to see my face, but... Uh, those of you that still support me, I love you. Honestly, genuinely. If y'all don't support her, don't support me. Suck my dick. That's not true. Because I told a lot of them to only support you before I left. I said, make sure Dallas is okay. And support her with everything that she does. I'm going to get my neck tatted. I'm probably okay. going to get blasted before I come out because I'm still manic. I didn't say that. Love you guys. Bye. My hand shaking, you see? Because I'm hitting a nerve mm -hmm. in my... Okay, wait, hold on. Someone just cashed at me. Oh, hey, guys. How did you guys still comment? I couldn't. What the fuck? Okay, what's your guys' opinion on that? Did you get what you needed to get? Did you... Because a lot of you are still going to be like, well, this, this, this. What did you guys... I love you too, Kens. Like, in the beginning of it, people were like... <clears throat> hating on AP because they were on your side now they're hating on you because they're on AP side but now that you two are good what's the point of hating on anybody so what do you guys think oh let me see some negative shit bitch she hits hard y'all don't don't please don't I'm don't ask no one's opinion okay guys come to my stream come come to my ah yeah you're cat that's what you are okay my Twitch stream, because I'm going to start it right now. I'm starting it right now. I better see you guys pop. One day. Yes. You can't crease them, though. I don't crease you. But I'm just saying, you can't. Okay, my Twitch stream is BBY Dallas. So you guys can come. It's BBY Dallas. Okay, so I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to dis- Why are you playing games? On there, can I play games on there? I don't want to play this. Play it. Babe, hop up on Twitch stream, okay? Okay, I'll stay on here. Okay. What the fuck? Here's gonna be here. She's gonna hang out with her for a bit. Oh, it's on the Steam like, account. Does she hate me? Yeah, she was she was mm -hmm. gonna call me. She'll call me a little bit. Yeah. Um That's why I love her. Okay, tell me if you can hear it when it turns on. I hear beeping. Oh no, she can got this shit on. Okay. I'm putting it full blast. Because you have to have it. So, um I don't like this. So you have to get in the camera. Where's my mouse? Oh. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay, you have to just use these keys. Oh, like move this? Yeah, so this is, okay. This is to move. Okay. This is, well, this is like to look. This is to walk. And, the, and it'll tell you the other controls, but you're going to use these ones. Wait, okay. this is to walk? I thought that's the walk. 